Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose in the Moose is Loose. Trying something different. Got to move the microphone around. I found that the computer's fan is just being really noisy. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. So um, not understanding why it's doing that. But I mean, once you go Mac, can't go back. So it's not like I can fix it, right? So what I want you to do is like, comment, and subscribe. It's going to help us out here in the channel. And hopefully next week, I'll change up this lighting scenario. Looks like I'm in the Godfather, especially if I turn down this light. You know, it's like I'm not trying to be the Godfather of crypto. I'm just crypto moose. That's it, guys. Um, so what we're going to do is talk about Binance. So for those of you that don't know, Binance is leaving Canada. So we even have an article up here. And what I'm going to do is give you three alternatives. Um, so if you are Canadian like myself, you probably want to still pick up some Bitcoin, pick up some some crypto. And I'm going to give you three ways you can do that on today's episode. So it's going to be very important for you. So if you take a look here, here's one of the main articles. Binance, the world's biggest cryptocurrency exchange, is leaving Canada. There's Kevin O'Leary, you know, potential fraud, but I mean, I'm not going to make any speculation. I actually like him. Um, I feel like, you know, because he's on Shark Tank and the fact that he is Canadian and, you know, he has brought a lot of attention to crypto. It's just unfortunate what, what happened with the FTX situation, right? Um, but anyways, I think Crypto Moose should be on the podium. They should have a name tag that says Mr. Moose and I should be telling everybody about Cardano and getting them to liquidate all their other assets. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, you should have a hardware wallet. I don't even know where mine are at. I'm kind of panicking right now. But if we look at this Binance, and it's all done through a tweet, I guess. Unfortunately, today we are announcing that Binance will be joining other prominent crypto businesses in proactively withdrawing from the Canadian marketplace. So basically, you want to get your, your cryptos off of the Binance exchange if that's what you're doing. What I recommend is that you never have more than maybe 10% of your crypto holdings on an exchange. I understand if you're trying to sell out, but again, there are other ways you can do that. And you should all own your private keys. So when you're when you're setting up a online exchange, the online exchange, they hold your keys for you. And the idea of cryptocurrencies is that because of the fact that we have decentralization, you can own your own crypto assets. So it does bother me that so many of you are just willy-nilly giving out your wallets away. Like you don't even really have access to your funds. The idea of crypto is that you now become your own bank. Okay, so even if you take a look at Meld over here, this is Meld, I own my own keys. So if I go to the top right, I can show my seed phrase. So I am the one that owns my cryptos. Meld doesn't hold it for me. Now it does hold more responsibility, right? Responsibility um, and authority goes hand in hand in that regard. But that's what I wanted to mention. That's why I do online courses. That's why I've got this channel because so many of you, you just set up an online exchange and then if the exchange goes down, well, you lose access to everything. So that's not gonna happen to me because I have a treasure, I have a ledger, I have all these things. So I do have a link in the description below. Guys, pick up a hardware wallet. If you don't, if you barely have any money, but you have a bit of Bitcoin, get the Model 1. It works. Get something. Get a hardware wallet because this is a way that you can hold your assets on cold storage and somebody would need the pin in the device in order to sign the transaction away. You are adding another layer of security. That's what it's all about. And this isn't a joke. This is, this is very serious. I know people that have lost thousands of dollars. I've lost money in crypto because I didn't have a hardware wallet, right? So I just wanted to mention that. It's a very big deal. Um, pick up any hardware wallet. I don't care if you pick up this one. Pick up something different, but get a hardware wallet. Put Get a hardware wallet and put 90% of your assets on there and keep the other 10% floating around on the low, low caps, whatever you want to do, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's serious, guys. It's very serious. Very, very, very serious. What we're going to do is go through crypto.com. So that's my number one. And I'll even show you here on my phone. Try not to show you guys too much information. 
but I have a crypto.com account, okay? Crypto.com, not gonna show you my password or pin, but I'm bullish on crypto.com. I love it. It works. You can send yourself an e-transfer. I have a video on the channel somewhere showing you how to buy crypto. Anyways, go on the channel. You can probably type it in here. Maybe crypto.com, put in crypto, whatever it is. Um, definitely check out for it. But I recommend setting up a crypto.com account because it's going to be the best way that you can buy cryptos. You also have the debit card um, so or crypto uh, credit card, really. It's a preloaded card. But download the app, guys. Send yourself an e-transfer. It works really well for Canadians. Very simple to do. Send yourself an e-transfer. You can very easily go between your fiat wallet and buy the crypto assets that you want. That's my number one. The fees are pretty decent. And you can also withdraw and send to cold storage. So I've done that in the past. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like Crypto Moose to do that as well. So the second one is going to be ShakePay. ShakePay is definitely a good option, same thing. The problem in Canada is that you have to send yourself an e-transfer. It's not that easy to buy because the banks, they do not want you using crypto because think about it. Does Netflix or do, do, do movie theaters like Netflix? No, they don't. Why don't they like, why don't they like Netflix? Because you don't have to go to the movies anymore. I'm a movie guy. I love Christopher Nolan. I'm going to watch Oppenheimer, but I don't watch anything else in, in theaters. I might even watch Barbie in theaters um, only because of Margot Robbie, right? So definitely download ShakePay. I've used it in the past. It works well. I prefer crypto.com. That's why I put it as number one. Great option. The other one is going to be Coinbase. So I will pull it up here. I just don't know if I'm logged in right now. So Coinbase, um, you know, there's talks of them leaving, but in the short term, if you just need to buy some crypto in the short term, send it away to cold storage, do that. So that's going to be one option for you all as well. So they do have a lot of options. That's what I do like about them. Um, so yeah, definitely check out um, these guys. It's just a good option for you guys. Um, and, and you should be really thinking about you know, where am I going to get crypto? Have a couple options. I have three or four, maybe five options to buy crypto. And you need that because if the market goes down and you want to get in, you're, you're, gonna, you're, you're going to need a spot to get in. So that's going to be the best way. So with that being said, that's all we have for you. Um, we do have a coupon code in the link in the description below. That's for our crypto and NFT masterclass. We have like three or four other courses. Check that out if you want to learn more about cryptos and NFTs. We also have a lot of content here on the channel. This week, we have absolute bangers coming out. And yeah, that's all we have for you. We'll see you guys in the next one.